I've been trying to get way more specific in how I've done that, which will help others if they want to be a part. It's I've broken down me, and I, I, since I'm recording this, we'll be able to all see how this progresses. I've done weekly FDF marketing campaign, campaigns for May, and I'll show you. I have, uh, here, let's see. For May, so it's this week it's May 5th through May 13th, FDF marketing campaign. So for Snapchat, I post on Snapchat every day. At 12 p.m., I'll do the FDF commercial, which is about like an hour and a half away from now. Then uh, at 3 p.m., I'll post about the event, uh, which is the yoga event this month. And at 5, I'll do an apparel post. So I'll post about the hats or whatever apparel that we're selling. Make a post about it at that time. That gives people an opportunity, that window to, hey, I see it. Let me, if they want to buy it, they can react at that time. Well, it's in their mind. Then at 7, spreading FDF posts. So this one, I want to just spread the word about, I want to encourage others to spread the word about FDF because uh, there's one thing for, if you if you catch on to it now and if you're part of it, you see it and you like it, you're part of the loop. So you're gonna always see about what's going on with FDF. But now I wanna take that to the next level and try to encourage others to, if you like what you see, to spread the word. This is, this is how it helps something grow and get bigger and better. Because I can get bigger and better, not on my own, but through, through this merit. But I will also, it will help the business and it will help just everything you're seeing get bigger and better and improve even more if you spread the word. Because more people seeing it means more supporters or maybe not, but just more people having the potential to be supporters, which means the events can be bigger, have a bigger community involvement, which means the sponsors, the sponsors will get bigger and better because they'll see more people. So there'll be more free giveaways, more freebies, and that all starts with just the free share, a free post, like, hey, check out FDF, or check out the FDF Snap, or check out, the F just more spreading. So I encourage that at 7 p.m. every day on Snapchat. Then Instagram every day, I post between 1 to 2 p.m. Take notice that I'm trying to fill every gap of the day with like different posts of FDF, just through different platforms. So not one platform is getting all of the content that would be over redundant for that one uh, form for Instagram on Mondays I'll post about a challenge on Tuesdays I'm posting a meal Wednesdays a scenery Thursday commercial Friday a product Saturday the event and Sunday the quote then on Facebook for the business Facebook it's the same thing as the Instagram but it's different days uh, so from 8 to 10 a.m. I'm giving myself a two-hour gap to do that. One, because I have clients in the morning. Two, mornings, I like to gradually go into my mornings. I don't want to just jump into it. I like to gradually wake up and get my stuff together and get stuff going. Because it also gives me time to make sure the website is perfect. Like perfect. And on Facebook, my personal every day, I went to do three posts per day and three shares per day. One thing that I was slacking on with... Facebook, I was posting too much about FDF on my personal, and that's just me being naive, and that's just me being naive, passionate, and eager, because I just wanted to put it out there, put it out there, put it out there, but I wasn't being strategic with how I was putting it out there and how my actual Facebook personal page was looking. Facebook business page is supposed to have all FDF, different content, different styles, but all FDF. Facebook personal is supposed to be my personal and I, what my mistake was, I was mixing both instead of, yes, I can still have FDF stuff on it. I'm going to, I'm not going to, FDF is part of my life, so it'll be a part of all of what I do. But I should also have other aspects of my life on my personal Facebook rather than just the Family Dreams Fitness. Because for those who, who enjoy me as a person or as a friend, but may not be so attached to Family Dreams Fitness like that, I shouldn't bombard them with only Family Dreams Fitness if they don't want to. Because if they wanted to, they can follow the Family Dreams Fitness Facebook page or Instagram or any Family Dreams Fitness official thing. And when it comes to me, if they want to just, maybe some people just like, if I just post a quote or just post random stuff, maybe there's people who like that. 